rockets. What you really don't see in most of the TV coverage is the length of the flame coming out of the three engines. And so now that the crescent moon has set, there is no moon in the sky, it is extremely dark. The flame is about five times longer than the actual external fuel tank. So I'm told the entire sky is going to essentially light up and it's going to look like daytime. Let us, let us now listen to the final seconds of the countdown with NASA, NASA rather, mission control. Final steering check of the solid rocket booster commands is being performed. Turning off the SRB joint heaters. Closing the liquid oxygen and LH2 fill and drain valves. Coming up on the handoff to Endeavor. T minus 31 seconds. The handoff has occurred. Start. 25. 20. SRB nozzle gimbal check. Arming the firing chain now. Sound suppression water system is armed. Rain safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Endeavour, going where east and west do meet at the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavour. The roll maneuver is complete. Endeavour is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. The Florida coast gets an early sunrise as Endeavour heads out on a course to intercept the International Space Station in a day and a half. Endeavor, your go at throttle up. There's no action on the left RCS messages. We'll have words later. Copy, no go at throttle up. Copy, no action on the RCS message, Matt. Endeavor's heading out 51,000 feet in altitude, 10 miles from the Kennedy Space Center, downrange 11 miles. Three hydraulic systems in good shape, as are the electricity producing fuel cells. Three good uh, main engines at 104% of rated thrust. Coming up on uh, staging, the burnout of these twin solid rocket boosters at two minutes, five seconds. SRB separation confirmed. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out and any of the dispersions introduced at booster separation. Endeavour is 50 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 200,000 feet or 38 miles, traveling 3,900 miles per hour. Endeavour, two engine Zaragoza. Three good main engines, but Endeavour can reach Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. Time three minutes into the flight. Endeavour is traveling 4,300 miles per hour, 82 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 48 miles. All systems aboard the uh, shuttle are in good shape. The three main engines still at 104% of rated thrust. Three good hydraulic systems and fuel cells producing electricity for the vehicle. Three and a half minutes into the flight, Endeavour is 115 miles downrange at an altitude of 55 miles or approaching 300,000 feet.
Endeavor, negative return. Endeavor, negative return. Endeavor for Dom, the fest is shut down. We'll take step one of a VAP out T high. Endeavour can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure, but all three are in good shape. Crew performing a procedure to recover the flash evaporator system. That's uh, no issue for launch. The vehicle is 214 miles downrange. Endeavor, press to ATO. Endeavor copies. ATL. Endeavor can reach orbit on two engines should one fail. However, all three are still at uh, full throttle. Time five minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Endeavor is 294 miles downrange at an altitude of 67 miles. Endeavor, single engine ops three. Endeavor, single engine ops three. Endeavor, press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza 104. Endeavor, press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza 104. Endeavor can reach a safe orbit on two engines now as the vehicle is rolling to a heads up position for uh, good communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Endeavor, your shutdown plan is nominal. You are go for the plus X, no go for the pitch. Six minutes, 45 seconds into the flight, Endeavour is 486 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 65 miles. Endeavour, single engine press 104. Endeavour, single engine press 104. And Endeavour can reach orbit on one engine should two fail at this point. But all three are still well, performing well. Okay, Jim, thanks. Flash evaporator system operating in its backup or standby or secondary system. All uh, cooling on board uh, in good shape. Hydraulic systems, fuel cells also in good shape. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Standing by for uh, throttling to maintain the three times uh, gravity on the vehicle and uh, the crew on board. Endeavour is traveling 16,000 miles per hour, downrange 780 miles, altitude 64 miles. Standing by for main engine cutoff confirmation. Main engine cutoff confirmed. Standing by for separation from the external tank.
Endeavor uh, flying away from the external tank. Pretty fascinating to watch. You've been watching live coverage of the Space Shuttle Endeavor liftoff, a successful one. Thankfully, no problems to report this morning. Let's go back to Phil Keating for a quick recap.